Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is GYS. So in this video, we will be discussing the important editorials of uh, 22 May that appeared in the Hindu newspaper that is the national newspaper which is followed by most of the civil services aspirants. So today is 22 May. So let's see what are the important articles of today. So the first article that we are going to discuss is about the Kashmir and the alleged human right violations there by the security forces. So here friends, I uh, what I will do I will basically tell uh, 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 kind of explain you the important uh, uh, we can say crux that the author wants to highlight in this article but I will not delve much deeper into the article because that uh, the ultimate uh, benefit uh, that uh, that a student can get is by self-reading so my purpose is just to give you a brief idea so basically this article is about uh, the the report uh, that that the office uh, of uh, high commission for human rights uh, that is a special office of united nation for human rights uh, uh, it, it this article focuses on the report of uh, this human right commission and uh, also uh, recently let me tell you friends that in uh, june 2018 uh, this human rights Commission released a report on on the human rights situation in JNK in Jammu and Kashmir. So there was a kind of uh, 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 submission in that report that uh, that uh, there is there is a uh, there is a widespread violation of human rights in Kashmir. So government of India decided to. Uh, kind of uh, neglect this uh, report and the government of India neglected this report and also uh, recently in India shut down the communication with the UN reporters seeking to question India on alleged human rights violations. So there were special reporters that uh, that uh, that uh, the UN uh, has sent to, to question India on these alleged human rights violations but India decided to not communicate with them. So the reason that the uh, Indian government cited uh, is that the, that this report report of uh, United Nation uh, Office for High Commission of Human Rights is basically this report is false and it is motivated by individual prejudices against India and it doesn't represent the interest of India and also it is not representative of official UN statement. So for that purpose uh, it also said that its conclusions and recommendations were, uh, were uh, uh, kind of in violation of India's sovereignty and territorial integrity. So in fact government of India said that in fact the uh, the the most uh, important factor which is responsible for the violation of human rights is terrorism so india uh, responded in this manner so here the author wants to say uh, ke, yes indian government has certain genuine concerns about it because certainly some some uh, recommendations are in it are are kind of based on individual prejudices but uh, the author also wants to highlight that this report of uh, united nation human rights commission uh, is basically based upon the inputs that are mostly given by Indian authorities so when when the uh, this report is prepared uh, by uh, on the basis of questions asked to Indian authorities um, on uh, regarding civilian uh, killings in uh, Jammu and Kashmir so the author wants to highlight that uh, though India has decided not to communicate with the United Nations and to decided to refute this uh, report but uh, government of India uh, must introspect as the report is based on on, on the on the uh, inputs uh, mainly given by Indian authorities and it can it can't be uh, completely neglected and also the inputs were from state and uh, national human rights commissions so here the author wants to highlight the government must press for due process and justice in the alleged violations because uh, it is important and, uh, for for India to ensure justice to uh, to the to the uh, to the victims of uh, uh, alleged human rights violations so this is about this article so let's move on to the next article next article is about uh, the recent uh, uh, general elections that have happened for the purpose of uh, Parliament of India that is lower house of Parliament of India that is Lok Sabha so in this uh, article um, as uh, as the author's headline suggests uh, the author wants to highlight that uh, what, 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 what type of elections they, they were so in fact uh, author starts by saying that uh, the, the voting is 67.11 percent uh, in this general election as per the reporting uh, and uh, but author wants to say okay, electoral politics has sunk to a new low but also there is a bright side to it that is there is no proven in 
circumstance of booth capturing or uh, no credible evidence of any material failure of evms so this author wants to highlight uh, this is the this is the bright side of election but also again at the same time author says that it would be kind of uh, uh, judging the democracy on a low bar because uh, uh, it, uh, the author uh, uh, advocates that uh, the, this is basically in fact the body of the democracy so it might still be healthy but soul is in deep trouble because the politics uh, uh, level of politics has sunk to a new low with the uh, with every party uh, engaged in uh, uh, kind of uh, corrupt and assassination of the opposition party so instead of focusing on the on the issues of uh, electorate so here author move on, moves on to say Okay, the new parliament needs effectiveness. Uh, at the last parliament uh, was was uh, in fact though effective, but there were continuous disruptions. But author says okay, it is important to to uh, fulfill the national interest. So it is uh, in this context it is necessary that the different political parties uh, uh, of uh, the, 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 that may be of uh, any any ideology they must um, um, kind of place their uh, place the national interest above their narrow political interest. So here also, also uh, here the author also wants to highlight that what should be India's foreign policy. So here the author uh, uh, says that uh, there is a growing nexus between Pakistan and China. So in this context, certain assertiveness is needed in India's foreign policy. But uh, the maneuverability for this assertive foreign foreign policy is limited. So India must uh, must assert its position, but uh, it must be uh, within a limited kind of we can say framework. So also here author wants to highlight the state of the economy which author says is not very much encouraging because there is low consumption led demand, there is rural distress, uh, there are no jobs and also there is slowing growth in core, core industries as well as strength balance sheet problem of corporates and also the banking sector is in disarray due to high non-performing assets and due to the kind we, we can say uh, the institutional uh, uh, kind of uh, erosion of uh, uh, Reserve Bank of India RBI. So here uh, the author says that the next government must focus on next round of reforms. That is, for example, in land and labor markets, on uh, trimming the unproductive services and promoting ease of doing business, which will take India to a high growth path. So this is basically the these are the basically uh, important points that the author want, wanted to highlight in this article. And let's move on to the next article. Uh, the next article is about a that is India Brazil South Africa grouping that is a grouping of developing countries of uh, of the southern hemisphere so you can see that India is is a country of uh, Asian Asian continent and Brazil is of South American continent and South Africa is of African continent so both uh, all these countries are developing countries so here the author wants to highlight that what is the importance of EBSA. So here author says that uh, despite the elections, uh, the uh, the officials uh, of uh, of uh, these three countries met in Cochin uh, uh, a few days back uh, from May 3 to May 5. So in this context, uh, the author wants to highlight its importance. So uh, basically, uh, there is a small information about EBSA that it was launched after the Brasilia Declaration of 2003 and its summits uh, held in uh, 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 continuously from 2006 to 2011. However, with the emergence of BRICS, uh, that is uh, a grouping of these three developing countries, including uh, uh, the Russia and China, also the author, author said uh, says that uh, the influence of this IPSA started decreasing, and its uh, 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 and its meeting uh, meeting regular meetings also reduced. But now, uh, author says that it, the, its influence is increasing because there is an increasing dynamism in the in the in the and in, in all these three cont uh, countries leadership that uh, ibsa must be revived so uh, currently it is widely view viewed as a unique voice for global south and uh, uh, why it is, is seen as a unique voice for global south because uh, it is uh, uh, basically the, the, all the countries are in the south uh, southern hemi hemisphere so here uh, uh, the south south cooperation gains importance and also the author says ki it fulfills the need of developing countries to forge a decisive leadership so there are multiple uh, uh, factors that bind this uh, group that for example commonality is that faith that all these countries have faith in democracy they are democracies and uh, all these countries are diverse they believe in diversity plurality inclusiveness human rights and ru rule of law 
so so in this context author also says that other thing that binds these countries is that all these countries are are a strong advocate for for reform in global uh, institutes of uh, institutions of governance for example uh, it may be uh, it may be imf it may be united nations security council or any other multilateral fora so in this context foreign ministers of countries are of these countries are meeting regularly and uh, ipsa is being uh, the uh, these countries are trying to revive uh, this uh, grouping uh, as early as possible so also there is a fund uh, that is uh, ebsa fund for poverty and hunger alleviation it has uh, kind of uh, successfully completed 21 developmental projects in small countries and these countries range from burundi G G uh, guinea and uh, your palestine cambodia vietnam and other uh, other also others also so here the author wants to highlight that uh, brics uh, uh, is a grouping of uh, china as well as russia also so uh, in the context of brics uh, the uh, the ipsa has unique responsibility which cannot be fulfilled by brics alone because uh, uh, this ipsa is is a, is a kind of we can say a true inheritor of developing countries and uh, it 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 it's uh, it, ha it it ha it has the potential to in fact increase the effectiveness of brics by enc by encouraging brics to follow more balanced approach on key issues that uh, that affect these countries so this is basically the article and uh, you can it is uh, this article is important from your international relations view point so friends these are the three articles of today because there were uh, there were other articles also but they were not important from your exam point of view but you can certainly read them if you want your intellectual growth if you want that your view uh, becomes comprehensive then you can read those articles also uh, i hope that uh, you have the the hindu by uh, reaching your Uh, homes every day so you can read uh, other articles also but the, these were the three main articles so in this manner we daily do the analysis and if you like the video if you like the analysis then do hit a like please share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and lastly uh, your comments are most welcome we will certainly uh, listen to your comments you are uh, kind of we can say appreciation as well as your suggestions and we will try to improve ourselves so thank you friends have a very nice day so lastly let me tell you that we have a telegram channel also the link of which also will also be provided in the description box so you can join it and uh, and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel so thank you friends have a very nice